of money, the losses. The, the SOE report shows that, the finance ministry's own report shows that in billions, right? They, they are now, they, they big struggle to pay their own staff. They struggle to even buy the cocoa. I mean, they've struggled in the past. Sometimes they can't even buy at all. Sometimes they, they wait, they miss the main season. By the time they go, the rest of the market, the PB lines is buying, I've, I've, I've bought the, the chunk of it. So this is clear case of mismanagement across the board, even with all the help that you give them. But we see the drop in the market share also affects their revenue. Because the more you are able to buy, then the amount you also make from the business also increases. So if there's a drop in your market share, it also affects your revenue. So that is another challenge they have at this point. Um, I, am, I am not in a position to speak for PBC and why these challenges are there. But bear in mind the point I made at the beginning of our conversation. There's something PBC does, which the other companies do not offer us that, and there's the need for us to ensure that PBC stays. Of course, it is still state-owned. And the fact that it's a state-owned means that I and you, Evans, are shareholders or we have some interest, which there's the need for us to protect. Because yes, Coco Board as the supervising uh, authority is equally a state-owned. So there's every reason why we have to make sure that PBC stays. If you look at the number of people who are employed by PBC, about 700 people, do we say that let's let the company go bust and all these persons lose their employment? Yeah, but but the they've, from what I understand, they've actually been forced to downsize from over 1,000 to that number. But, but if you stay with me, let quickly.